All right, what is up? This slow place is back to more Kirby Planet Robobot for the Nintendo 3S. So we are continuing our boss run with episode number two. Uh, in the last episode, all we did was complete area one patch planes. Uh, I guess the boss of that, which was, I believe, Clanky Woods. Uh, pretty dumb name, Clanky Woods, but I guess that makes sense because he was kind of like a robotic plant life creature. But let's go ahead and jump straight into Resolution Road, area number two. A uh, very strange name. I'm not sure... Where that came from resolution road are we resolving something or what but um i did collect all the code cubes through this and uh here it is unlocking the boss i'm not sure how many you ha need to have uh, i think you need a minimum of maybe like 10 or something to unlock the boss or you probably need less I don't, i'm not entirely sure on that but before we get started guys do me a huge favor and hit that like button to reach 15 likes on this video that would be amazing i really appreciate it plus it shows you want to see more kirby planet robobot content on this channel so let's go ahead and jump straight on into this boss. Um, I have no idea who this boss is. This is completely blind. But, uh, you know, I'm really excited for this. You know, it's just good to be back in this game. This game is so fucking fun. I've just been non-stop playing it for a while. Uh, I've been taking a short break, though, uh, with this game. Because I've been trying to sign up for classes and all that shit for next semester. Which absolutely sucks. But I think the most optimal weapon of choice, or I guess ability of choice, is going to be the ESP. Which... Look at this. I'm Ness, dude. I'm Ness. This is freaking Earthbound. And we got... Look, look at this, dude. Boom. What's good? That is hilarious. How, how adorable is this? It's like a mini Ness. So, uh, this psychokinetic ability allows you to turn invisible and produce shocking electric fields just like a certain boy with PSI. This field of science is still largely unexplored. So, there's a lot of other games that are, you know, always integrated into Kirby, like Link with the sword ability. And I guess the pills... Maybe from Dr. Mario, I'm not entirely sure if that's confirmed, but uh, we have a lot of cool abilities. We can vanish, we can evade stuff, uh, reappear, we got Psychokinesis, PK Shift, PK Electro Shift. Like, that, if that doesn't scream Earthbound or Nest to you, like, I don't know what will. So, let's go ahead and climb to the top here, and um, yeah, I'm just trying to blaze right through this game. It's a super easy game. You could probably finish this within, like, three days if you just constantly play it. Uh, there's not a lot of, you know, time that can be put into it, but it's super fun. If you want to go 100%, it definitely adds a lot of content to it. So, so far, guys, please, please, please pick this game up. It's so fun right now. Like, I've I've just had the time of my life with it. I'm so glad it came out, like, right when summer began and everything. So, it's just awesome to be back, and we have E3 this week, dude. It's just super hype with everything, man. Look at this shit. So, this is a very strange-looking boss. It's, we got, like, crystals, diamonds... Hollow Defense API. Oh my god, is that the Cloud Dude from the last Kirby game? I think it is. I think it might actually be. Okay. He's super e Okay, he's super easy. Hollow Cracko. Yeah, that was the dude from Triple Deluxe. I remember this. Okay, this is actually sick as hell. Hollow Doomers. Um, I, I feel like they're from Triple Deluxe, too. I think all these bosses might be from Triple Deluxe. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, from what I recall, I remember fighting these dudes as, like, mini-bosses and just, like, bosses at the end of certain levels. So, Hollow Defense API. What does that stand for? API. Yeah, look at this little guy! Hollow Ice Dragon. Yeah, this is one of the, like, bosses, or I guess mini-bosses. Let's see if we can do this without getting hurt at all. And right when I say that, I lose my ability. So this time, I'm not going to be stupid. I'm going to actually keep my ability. <laughs> that was hilarious last time, though. I can't believe I actually beat that dude without any abilities. I did it straight. Kirby, 100% being a badass as usual. You know, my boy Kirby, he, he got some abilities without any stealing, you know? He doesn't need that shit. Oh, this is the snake dude from, the, like, I think it was, like, World 2 or something? Or I can't remember. Yeah, this dude was fucking sick. I love this guy. He was actually really difficult, but that's why I liked him a lot, because he was probably the most challenging uh, boss in, I guess, Kirby. Yeah, Coily Rattler or some, some crap like that. Really? Did I lose my ability? Oh, no, I still had it. Thank God. I was about to be super pissed. So, yeah, it's all about, like, holograms with this dude. And he is almost dead. <laughs> One more ability left to go. This is the quickest boss fight ever. And that's it. <laughs> oh my god, that was way too easy. This this PSI is OP for an ability for Kirby. Like, if once you get this, it's over, man. Ness, there's a reason why he's gone up to tier list on Smash 4. Like, he, this dude's ridiculous. You just back throw and it's, we're good to go. Oh shit, here we go. 
Dude, I love this song. Such a bright and cheery game. Like, if you're having a bad day, man, just pop in some Kirby and just go to town on this shit. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love this to death. It's so fun. It's so good. It's so good. Let's freaking go. So that is it for the second boss. We are almost halfway through the game already with area number three going into Overload Ocean. But, um, yeah, that's probably going to do it for this episode. Uh, you destroyed the enemy base and unlocked the next, uh, sorry, the path to the next area. I do like the, uh, water-themed levels in Kirby games. In other games, not too much, but, you know, I love the music. It's a very tropical vibe, and it gets me high for the summer. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys are watching E3. E3's, uh... I guess the Nintendo presentation is going up tomorrow. I'm actually recording this on Monday. And E3's um, for the Nintendo is going up tomorrow. So get hyped to see some new Zelda and stuff. I don't know if I'll upload this today or not. But we'll see. Thanks again for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.